as you mentioned, the children should not be taught yoga or the inner signs when they are kids. So when do we actually start the process of uh, thinking pure and uh, not letting the impure thoughts into you? Where did you get this pure thought and impure thought business? <laughs> not me <laughs> Thought, whatever kind of thought you have, whatever thought you generate on your mind is only coming from the data that has already been fed into you, isn't it so? Hmm? You can use it, permutations and combinations of it and produce million varieties, but essentially thought is coming from the data that has already been fed into you. If you go about sifting in the mind, what is pure thought, what is impure thought, oh, you will go. And if you are trying to curb the impure thought and produce pure thought, you have finished. All the things that these so-called religions told people are sins, they have become the full-time activity of human mind. If they had just left them alone, everybody according to his inclination would have gone where he has to go. Now it's not like that, it's painted in everybody's mind because they said, this is a sin, do not think about it. Endlessly they're thinking about it. They're not even as free as dogs and cats are, human beings. Simply because somebody put this idea that there's something pure and impure, whatever impure things you learnt at the age of twenty-five, I do not know. I have not come in touch with anything impure in the world yet. I don't know where you came in touch with all these impure things in twenty-five years. I have not seen anything impure in this world, have you? Have you seen something impure? I have not seen anything impure in this world. There are different kinds of people with different kinds of problems and limitations and nonsense. I don't think it's impure. It's a process of purification. <laughs> in different stage of… stages of purity, I see people. And first of all, this idea of pure and impure is a very sick idea. There's just life around you. There's only life around you. If you're labeling certain aspects of life as pure, and certain aspects of life as impure, there is a serious problem. I want you to understand this problem is far more serious than most people really look at. It is that serious. Right now, many religions and cultures on the planet have labeled the fundamental biology itself as impure. Yes? Yes or no? The basic biological processes themselves as impure. Sexuality is impure, a woman's menstrual cycles are impure. What the hell, you are born out of it, then you are also impure, everything in the world is impure, creation is impure. If you like that word, you can use it. But who are you to decide what is pure and impure? This is the way life is made, isn't it? It all depends on how you do what you do, isn't it? With how much awareness you approach it, the same things can become beautiful, the same things can become ugly depending upon who is doing it and how he is doing it, isn't it so? Yes. Something as simple as eating. Eating can be a beautiful experience, not just for nourishment, even as an experience it can be a beautiful experience. Somebody eats like this, you just look at that back. Hmm? Everything can be done like this, isn't it so? Who is doing it, how it is being done, that's what makes the difference. So this prejudice as to what is pure and impure has destroyed this humanity in such a bad way. Pure thoughts and impure thoughts, oh, if you sift through this, you're finished. All thoughts are just junk. Okay? Essentially, they're coming from the limited experience of past. These thoughts are useful for your survival process. 
you picked up some amount of information, you want to survive in the world, this information is useful. If you're looking at life itself, these thoughts are meaningless. What happened yesterday actually has nothing to do with what's happening right now in this moment, isn't it so? But in terms of your survival in the world, you need to remember a few things. You need to use your old knowledge to earn your living on the planet. But uh, in that, don't brand something as pure and impure. This can completely freak your life out. There's nothing pure, there's nothing impure. Life is just the way it is. It's for you to make it wonderful or make it ugly. Every aspect of your life, yes? Every aspect of your life, you can either make it beautiful or you can make it, make it ugly. If you're aware, you will make it beautiful. If you're doing things compulsively, you will make it ugly. Anything in your life, if you do it compulsively, it becomes ugly, isn't it so? If you do it consciously, it can be made beautiful, everything. From the smallest thing to the biggest thing, everything can be made beautiful if you do it consciously. And everything can be turned to an ugly mess if you do it compulsively.